Hola! Welcome to my channel, I'm Darkies and today I'm gonna show you how I paint the Golden Pavilion. I took these pictures a while back while on a trip to Japan. Here's the list of the materials I used for this painting. And here's my reference picture. I start by outlining my drawing with burnt sienna. At this point I'm just trying to get a general feel of where things are and laying out the foundation and also I'm doing the color blocking. Now I'm mixing black and white to get a medium gray. This is gonna be the first coat for the water. Throughout this painting I'm going to be using Viridian Green as well as a green made from cadmium yellow and ultramarine blue. And here I'm adding a touch of red to make the color more muted. I noticed that my green wasn't dark enough so I added ultramarine blue to make it darker. I'm going to be using this for my background. Now I'm adding yellow ochre for the temple. I'm also going to be using it for the reflection of the water. On the roof I'm using ivory black and for the sides of the temple I'm using a mix of umber and yellow ochre. So I thought I'd share with you uh, the three things that I loved about Japan in my visit and the three things are the old architecture, which is very beautiful. The customer service was amazing. Um, it was really excellent. And the fresh seafood. Those were like my top three things that I really loved about this country. For the water, I'm using Golden's Transparent Titanium White because I want the colors underneath to show through. So here's some trivia about this video, my actual video was an hour and 53 minutes before editing and this painting actually took me way longer than that. Now I'm focusing on the sky, usually when I paint I try to focus on the entire canvas or in this case paper instead of just trying to detail only one area. To make the highlights, I mix yellow, ochre, and white. So while I was there visiting Japan, I tried to learn as much as I could and one of the things that I tried to learn was a few words. Unfortunately, it's been a long time since I've used them, so now I only remember two of them. So here they are. Ohio Gozaima, which means good morning. And 
Domo arigato gozaimasu, which means thank you very much. Here I'm focusing on the roof using a medium grey. Here I continue to give more detail to the temple since it's going to be the main focus of this painting. And now I'm continuing to add to the reflection on the water. To make the temple stand out, I'm using a golden metallic acrylic. For the sky, I add a beautiful lavender, um, making sure that it's very soft, and then I go back with white and gray and finish it off with a light blue. Then I add a semi transparent white to tone it down a little bit. Once I'm happy with the progress of the sky, then I move down to the water and I begin adding layer after layer. Here I'm adding the mountains in the background using a light gray. Now I'm working on the small island in front of the temple. I'm using different shades of grey and black to paint the tree as well as the rocks.
Now I'm working on the reflections using a dark green. I use Camium Yellow to highlight some of the leaves on the tree. I had a lot of fun in Japan and I hope I get to go again. It's a beautiful country and the uh, temples and the architecture is so inspiring. Here's the finished piece. Thanks for watching and if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.